we are headed into Mediterranean Gourmet Market. Let's see if my friends are in here. Hey! Hello How is it? Who's hello. this? Hello, hello, George. George, of yes. course. Shoddy, right? Yes, ma'am. Veggie sampler, give yes. them a chicken shawarma. Give them uh, cheese manoche. I guess they can start with that. Maybe uh, falafel. Plate. Like four pieces of falafel. That should be enough to start. Looking at this one first is a chicken shawarma. Okay, chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Okay. Looking at the vegetarian sampler, you have the hummus, mm -hmm. baba ghanoush, yes. tabbouleh, tabbouleh, soft grape leaves, vegetarian. Yes. Looking at this one here, falafel. Familiar with the falafel? Yes. Also yes. vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the meat pie, which is you are very familiar with that. Yes. This is very similar. That's the cheese. It's a mixture of. Uh, Mozzarella and Bulgarian cheese. I have been in the restaurant business since 1979. Okay. And from one to another. So when I closed Landmark Mall, I live across the street from here. So I used to come to the shopping center here. I probably was the second one in the area, Northern Virginia area, to open up a small shop that serves Lebanese food or some kind of Lebanese food and a little bit of market mm -hmm. and I started from there okay. I stayed there for like seven years then I moved to Landmark Landmark we stayed there for like 12 13 years and then we came here I met George and his family um, when I first came to this country mm -hmm. I'm originally Palestinian I came in the 80s um, my mom and dad went to a, a uh, Lebanese party and I was at the babysitter's club with his nephew, Dolly's son, the chef's son. So we became best friends at eight years old. So as I came here as a, as a customer like you, loved your food, loved the Middle Eastern food. Um, George needed some, some help one day, so I stepped in. Um, my actual, what I do for a living is 27 years in defense contracting. I'm an IT recruiter for a defense contractor since 1997. So, um, Jordan needed help on the weekends, so I volunteer every weekend. That's what he is, uh, every weekend. every weekend for the last, say, three years now. Yeah. It went from uh, yeah. just hopping out to three years volunteering every Saturday and Sunday. I'm here from 10, I leave two or three o'clock, um, make sure everything's cool, volunteer, and I go about my business. I'm also a single father to a beautiful 13-year-old uh, daughter. I've seen her around these parts. Yeah, so she comes sometimes when I have her. She'll, she'll doesn't go to her mom. She comes and helps out once the food for us like a fruit runner. Okay. So that's my story. That's how I got involved in this place. What is your favorite dish that we're looking at here? My favorite dish... Everything. Is <laughs> exactly, yeah. everything. But if I, if, I was, if I was to go to, it would be um, the daily specials. These daily specials are very unique in a way because they uh, come from back home. Um, like he mentioned, um, every day is different. I know on Fridays he has a, a very good fish fry, which we do every Friday. That's a whole fish with fries, salad, and toasted uh, bread that's dipped in um, fish oil. Um, so I would say the specials are my favorite that you're having right there. Okay. Um, and I'm a very big fan of falafel. I'm Palestinian, so um, falafel is one of my favorite dishes. What does it mean to you to be able to survive COVID? Because I know a lot of local shops didn't really end up so lucky. Yeah, How it, it, means, it means that? a lot. It means a lot. I mean, I lost all the employees in here. I was by myself coming in, curbside service. No. Phone, and that's how we survived. We uh, was nobody coming in, and like I said, I live like two seconds away from here, so I used to walk in, put four or five hours luck, and go home. Mm -hmm. And only curbside service I used to do just by myself. Nobody was in the kitchen, nobody was here. That's how we survived. I survived by myself. Is that lonely? Thank you. Ooh. 
was lonely, but uh, I mean, something that I love doing, I enjoy doing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been since 1979 and the same, same thing, so. And we keep doing it, as long as we're healthy. Uh, we have our own recipes, let's put it this way. Okay. So, and everything I'm not expecting you, any secrets. Yeah, I'm not expecting everything any you secrets. eat in here, like I do, I take care of shawarma myself. Mm -hmm. Shawarma, nobody touch. Yeah, I do. Just you. Yeah, nobody touch. Mm -hmm. Everything else you see, my sister does. Everything I try, I'm like, okay, now I know what I'm going to come in and get next and go outside of the of box what have, of what yeah, I normally get. get. Yeah. Of course, yeah. You got to. Yeah. How many regulars so. do you guys have? This is one of our, our regular that's here. Every day. I would say 90% regular. Yes. <laughs> How often do you come here? Every day. Every day? For lunch? Almost, yeah. Okay. Why do you come? Oh, for the food and the company. You know, it's nice. You be and you know people and you have friends. A lot of people are very surprised that we're here for 20 some years. Yeah. Because we're back in the cut, you know, back here. Uh, but not, you know. Um, they won't believe that it's 21 years. 21 years, there's no way. Oh. I mean, it's, yeah. So yeah. So, I mean, I mean, my joke always is, what took you so long? Will you tell me a little bit about the wall? The wall. Uh, <laughs> what I have in here, I started with my Lebanese money when we opened up. Like this is a hundred dollar. That's fifty dollar. That's one dollar. That's twenty five dollar. And. After I did that, every customer started walking in here. They say, oh, can you put my money on the wall behind it? That's how we started. That's how we built up all this wall with all kind of money from everywhere, all around the world. Mm -hmm. And that's how we started the money issue. Mm -hmm. uh, now what's with the, the plaque kind of designated like, plaque, a, like a military? It was sent to me by the commander in Afghanistan. I used to send them some uh, dry goods over there oh. for like two, three years. Mm -hmm. And one day I opened the mail and here it is from the commander. Send me this in appreciation of what I did for them. All right, All right. thank you. All right, thank All you. right, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys. All right, bye.